The National Aeronautics and Space Administration has always been at the centre of incredible discoveries around unexplainable scientific phenomenons and the new and emerging information surrounding unexplored solar systems and planetary bodies. It feels like almost every year the Space Agency makes headlines from across the world on a strange new otherworldly discovery and what it could mean for humanity in the not-too-distant future. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over five of the most recent popular NASA discoveries and what they tell us about our place in the universe. The Discovery of Kepler-186f Although it might seem like old news now, the discovery of the planet known as Kepler-186f led many experts to the realisation that the possibility of life naturally forming in our universe is tremendously more common than we ever realised. Kepler-186f was the first Earth-sized planet ever discovered to orbit a star within its habitable zone and so led many to believe that it could be evidence of one of the first planets to hold liquid water on its surface and subsequently a variety of complex evolved life. Since its discovery, the Kepler satellite has helped to locate a large number of potentially life-bearing planets that are both Earth-sized in its mass and orbit their stars at habitable zones. Prior to the discovery of Kepler-186f, the record holder for the most Earth-like planet went to an exoplanet known as Kepler-62f, of which was more than 40% larger than the size of Earth, and was not believed to orbit its star at the distance of its habitable zone. Unfortunately, since its discovery back in 2014, Kepler 186f was discovered to orbit its sun once every 130 days, and receive less than a third of the energy our planet receives from our sun, which places the planet at the edges of its habitable zone and makes it a terrible candidate for eventual colonisation. Additionally, the planet finds itself more than 500 light years away from our planet in the constellation Cygnus which only proves to be more reasons piled against the use of the planet as an eventual alternative for colonisation efforts. However, that does not discourage the Space Agency from still launching future projects into the matter as the Kepler satellite will work to find more viable candidates in the near future. The Mysterious Asteroid Oumuamua Originally, back in 2018, many scientists found it to be an astronomical rarity when the discovery of an interstellar comet that came from seemingly outside of our solar system arrived within close inspection of our planet. Many found the appearance of the comet to be both welcoming and at the centre of much media interest. However, it did not take long for announcements made by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration to quickly change the tone of those analysing the interstellar visitor. Known as asteroid Oumuamua, scientists began to realise that the asteroid was more than just a dry rock, much like those found orbiting between Mars and Jupiter within the asteroid belt, but that it was largely an icy body knocked out of natural orbit far away from our solar system, that could be carrying a wide variety of rare isotopes and materials. In fact, other studies have even found that the asteroid is more than just a naturally formed comet and seems to be like nothing ever seen before by space agencies and expert scientists. This led to a wide variety of various organisations pointing their telescopes towards the object that led to an explosion in the discussion surrounding the mysterious visitor. Described as being a long cigar-shaped rock, the asteroid was first analysed by teams of trained radio telescope engineers to first ensure that the object was not broadcasting any type of extraterrestrial signal, and then another team of astronomers led a project with the goal of analysing the electromagnetic spectrum of the object to better understand its composition. Their findings showed that the object, though rocky on the outside, was most likely filled with organic material on the inside, with a large source of both water and ice. Additionally, the comet was also found to have been generating its own acceleration as its movements did not seem to match normal gravitational forces acting on the floating rock. Though the asteroid has lost popularity today, it still seems to be at the centre of one of the biggest announcements ever made by the Space Agency, as well as being one of the most unexplainable phenomenon of space. 
the methane cycle on Mars. Only a few years ago, NASA made an incredible discovery in which the initial signs of life on Mars arose for NASA astrobiologists and research scientists back in 2004, and then again later confirmed back during the landing of the Martian probe in 2014. The private space agency originally saw signs of a methane plume ejecting from the surface of Mars and began to quickly theorize its implications as an organic molecule of which only finds natural formation via the creation of a variety of bacteria. After many sleepless nights, engineers of the space agency worked to send a Martian rover with the capability of testing the Martian surface for additional organic molecules. Later in 2014, Martian rover Curiosity began collecting evidence of methane traces in the Martian atmosphere and made a startling discovery. The Martian rover found that the methane on Mars grew more concentrated by season in the Martian atmosphere and directly correlated with the Martian seasons overall. This led researchers to believe that this correlation between concentration by season was additional proof to the hypothesis that Mars contains some form of life. Methane is also an organic molecule and the majority of methane on Earth also correlates with our seasons as certain bacterias and microbes eject this organic molecule into the atmosphere during summer and autumn seasons, similar to what the data shows in spikes of methane across the Martian atmosphere. Although definitive signs of life have yet to be observed on the red planet, the odds of this observation seems to be more and more promising with the passing years as Curiosity uncovers additional complex organic molecules and continues its drilling processes to locate biosignatures of life. The Light Gravitational Wave Event Back in 2014, the LIGO Institute made the groundbreaking discovery that helped to prove the existence of gravitational waves within our universe and the very nature of the warping of the space-time continuum. Ever since this incredible discovery, many different organisations have been racing to confirm the findings to cement their name amongst those to be credited for helping to establish this fact of the universe. Interestingly enough, it appears that in 2017, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration made their way into cementing the space agency on the matter when they announced the discovery of a natural light effect observed by the agency when two merging neutron stars that created powerful gravitational waves in all directions fell into each other to form a pulse of high energy light emission. This event occurred on the 17th of August back in 2017 when NASA used the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope to measure these changes and help to add more evidence to the natural gravitational wave phenomenon measured by the LIGO Institute, while also helping us to get a more accurate measurement of the gravitational waves on the movement of light. This could very well help to pave way for the use of such warping technologies to help create many different methods of faster than light travel, while also changing our current understanding of the physics of our universe. The TRAPPIST system On the 22nd of February back in 2017, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration announced that astronomers had located seven exoplanets orbiting a star known as TRAPPIST-1, of which three of the seven exoplanets orbited within a habitable zone. This became known throughout headlines from all around as the TRAPPIST system and is seen by many to be the highest collection and probability of a vast amount of life in a known solar system. Given the fact that the star system is extremely close to our own star system and could theoretically be at the centre of future colonisation efforts made by humanity as a collective, it has been bombarded with a wide variety of questions by both science enthusiasts and academic minds from all across the world. The three most habitable planets seem to be at the perfect distance from their sun to allow the natural existence of water, seasonal changes to the atmosphere and maintaining a stable climate all year round. Interestingly enough, two of these three planets also appear to be very close in size to that of our very own planet, and the conditions all appear just right to allow the chances of life to have formed on the planets. Additionally, given the fact that the planets are so close to each other, and each have the rare requirements needed to support life. Experts theorise that if only a single planet develops life, then all three would immediately support life. 
Theories of panspermia show that it is incredibly easy for bacteria to be transported across planets through the use of meteorites and debris formation, and that if only one planet had the ability to develop life, then the chances are that all three will soon sprout life after this transportation of life takes place. Not only does this prove to be a very promising addition to the chances of life elsewhere in the universe, but it seems to almost be a certainty. It is obvious that with the advancement of our industries and technology, we will only see more and more scientific discoveries made within our lifetime. But what do you all think of these recent discoveries made by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below and be sure to share your answers and questions about the video. Hopefully, as we continue to grow our community, we will one day be able to solve these unexplainable mysteries. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.